filtering. Well, when you have finished producing the olive oil, one of the last things you may do in, in your cellar is to decide if you filter or not the olive oil. Uh, for me, uh, it's not something that I like to do, but uh, sometimes it's inevitable to, to filter your olive oil. Filtering, uh, you filter the olive oil to remove all the impurities uh, and the remaining uh, little drops of, of water or humidity that your olive oil contains. Uh, I don't like to filter because uh, every time you move the olive oil from a tank to another, you are uh, inserting oxygen in that oil, producing a lack of uh, quality, a, a loss of quality in that olive oil. Uh, but uh, I recognize that sometimes it's filtering is something so important that it's inevitable. Uh, why? Because if you are going to have the olive oil uh, for more than one year or two, or you are going to export it uh, and you don't know what conditions the olive oil is going to have, uh, I think uh, it's better to filter in order to avoid any problem with, with that humidity or, or with that uh, small amount of, of impurities. Uh, we use the paper filter uh, in order to filter our, our olive oil, but always after uh, the canting it for one month and a half or two months. Uh, we, what we do is we rise the temperature uh, in the cellar about one or two degrees uh, in order to help the olive oil to decant itself. But when that's not enough to, to get a clean olive oil, uh, we filter it in order to, to give our customers a perfectly clean olive oil. But uh, if I could avoid it, I would. There are other, other types of filterings instead of the paper one uh, for large amounts of, of liters of olive oil uh, people use uh, earth's uh, filtering uh, which uh, allows you to to filter it faster uh, and cleaner with the devastation but well that's for other kind of olive oils uh, and if you are interested in large um, in filtering large amounts uh, you should ask for uh, earth filters also, uh, other question in filtering is, when should I filter after producing the olive oil? Well, that depends on the way you process all the olive oil and how you store it, uh, how, what's the temperature in your, in your cellar. Uh, I usually uh, say that uh, there is no minimum or maximum time in order to, to filter, but you have to try to get the cleanest olive oil you can without filtering and then start filtering. Okay, what I do is I, as I told, I decant uh, the olive oil uh, in the cellar all that I can and when I think uh, I'm not going to be able to improve the cleanliness, uh, the cleanliness of, the, of the olive oil, then I use the filter if I need to. Uh, but that's something that you will have to look uh, very, very carefully by taking samples of all the, the different tanks in the cellar and deciding when it's not going to improve by itself. Uh, and in that case, you are able to start filtering. If you did it before, the only thing you are going to, to do is wasting or uh, filter paper filters or, or the earth that you are going to use.